What's up guys, it's Coach Grant with First Down Training, and today we're going to be talking about how to threaten a DB vertical and not to do too much dancing behind the line of scrimmage when you're going up against a press coverage situation, okay fellas? So the main thing that's going to get this DB to move is you've got to actually threaten him in the direction that you don't want to go, but the direction you want him to think you're going to go. You can't be doing all this dancing, you can't be moving lateral, you actually have to threaten him and try to stretch the field. So I hope this video gives you guys some value and it teaches you a few things about how to handle press releases correctly, how you guys can make sure that you threaten a DB and to get him to move off that platform again. But also fellas, if you're a wide receiver and you want a specific four week long on field wide receiver workout plan with all the drills you need to do to improve your route running press releases catching ability all the above check out that very first link in the description fellas our 28 day on field wide receiver workout plan we give you all the drills with sets and repetitions all broken down for you and then we include a 30 minute long video where we break down each day of the plan the importance of each workout and then we show you full speed examples of each drill so i hope you guys can check that out It'll really help you guys take your game to that next level when it comes to on the field play let's get started so there's going to be a quick clip here but we're going to look at how he's able to threaten this guy down the field and obviously get him a little bit off balance to make him stumble, right? So the most important thing here, fellas, is that whenever we get a press situation and you're like off the ball, right? Maybe you're a slot wide receiver, you're off the ball. So many guys do so much dancing behind this line of scrimmage, right? Now you hear NFL guys talk about this all the time. The only way that you're going to get a talented DB to move is you actually have to threaten him here or threaten him here. You can't be doing too much behind the line of scrimmage because a disciplined guy is just going to shuffle and he's just going to watch your hips and you're not going to get him to bite at all, right? So you got to make sure that we're able to threaten him in whichever direction that we don't want him to go. So this receiver does a great job. This is Jeremy Prince out of Temple University. He does a great job of giving this kind of foot fire, closing the space with him, making this DB uncomfortable. And then when he decides to make that cut, he throws outside of this frame, right? So see where he's stepping. He's threatening him in this direction. This is what forces a reaction out of the DB because it actually looks like he might be just trying to take an inside release and just run off on this thing. That's what we have to make it look like, right? Anytime you guys are going like a slide release and this guy maybe sits to the inside, we always want to be able to threaten him like I could just go vertical, right? If I'm working like a hesitation hop release where it's something a little bit not as choppy as this, it's like just one little step. I got to be able to threaten him that I want to go to the inside rather than break back to the outside. So it's so important that when you make these cuts, fellas, you're selling with your upper half, but you're actually stepping outside of his frame. So you see how his shoulders and his hips both are committed. It's not like he's making this cut right here, but his shoulders and his hips are already coming out of this break. That's what so many receivers do. They'll throw a cut, but their hips and their shoulders are already getting out of the cut. You got to make sure you commit to the cut. Trust me, committing to the cut will get this guy to hesitate. That's what's going to get him to hesitate because that's where he's watching. He's watching that upper half. So we got to be a salesman with my upper half and my lower half. It's not about reaching. It's not about stepping super far outside. You got to step outside of his frame, bring your hip, bring your upper half, and you will be in an explosive and balanced position right here to get this DB to move. If you can't get to that spot, then we're not going to get this DB to move. You got to make sure that we're able to threaten him vertical, step outside of his frame, and be able to let him go. Now you see how when he comes off this thing, he's got a lot of burst, right? When you make that cut and your toe stays forward, your weight stays on the inside arch of your foot. So you could really push and you could really drive off that cut because it's not enough to just get him to stumble. Yes, he fell in this case, so it really doesn't matter. But if we just get him to stumble and he's opening up and he's recovering, I got to make sure that I have speed and I'm able to restack and I'm able to get up into this route as fast as possible. So that's the technique, fellas. Throw your hip with the cut, threaten the DB, try to stretch that field, keep your toes forward. Don't open up your toes so that weight's on the inside arch of your foot. So you could push and you could drive out and explode and get up into this route and keep that timing with the quarterback. Let's watch the thing again full speed one more time. Great example example of how you guys can step outside of DB's frame and throw your upper half to create separation. All right, guys, I really want to thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. If you guys have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to leave those in the comments below. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Always appreciate the feedback. Always appreciate the suggestions you guys leave below. It really means a lot. Um, it helps me come up with new ideas for videos. So again, like I said, I really appreciate it. And also, fellas, four-week-long on-field wide receiver workout plan. All the drills you need to do broken down into sets and reps. We include a 30-minute video where we break down each day of the plan, the importance of each exercise exercise, what each exercise works on. And then we show you a full speed example. Hope you guys could check that out. Very first link in the description. I'll see you guys next time.